Hi guys, it's Christmas time, which means it's time for Elemental's education team to come up with something special. We think we've come up with the perfect gift, a fully automated greeting card done entirely in Elemental. If you want to send greetings to your parents, family or your best friend, all you have to do is fill in the details, your friend's name, David for example and add a greeting with all your best wishes for the new year. And don't forget to add a nice closing as well as your name. Let's say Jack. Now fill in the email field with David's email and hit the deliver button. From there we are redirected to a personalized thank you page that confirms the greeting card was sent successfully. And at the same time David receives an email with a link to the greeting card. By clicking the link David will be directed to the result page and see the beautiful Christmas greeting made just for him. Are you lost? Let's go over it again. Fill in the Christmas greeting card and send it to your friend. You are redirected to a thank you page and your friend receives an email with a link to the Christmas greeting you especially made for him. Wow, that sounds like magic. So how does it work? A heads up in advance. This might get a little complicated, but we'll go over it step by step. Understand the logic behind it see how things work behind the scenes and then you'll see it isn't as complicated as you might have thought. So let's see what we're up against by breaking it down and understand the bigger picture. The first screen is the main page. You can see the form on the left and the greeting card on the right. The second screen is the result page, which is the page your friends land on after having clicked the link in the email they receive. Here they will see your beautifully designed Christmas greeting. The third screen is the thank you page. This is the page you are redirected to after having sent the greeting and confirms that the message was sent successfully. We've designed and created these three pages with Elementor. So go ahead and create your own designs because what we're doing here can be applied to any design. First off, on the main page, we will focus on the first trick, real-time live preview. As you can see, while I'm filling in the form on the left, the greeting card on the right is mirroring the same text. Now let's head over to the editor. As you can see, the page is the same. We just clean it up a bit so we can focus on the technical side of things. Now let's dig in. We have a section with two columns. The column on the left has the form with all the fields we need. The column on the right has a bunch of form widgets stacked one on top of the other. We've also added a script to the HTML widget you see here. This script helps us with the mirroring effect and we've added some custom CSS as well. But don't worry, this is not the time to panic. Things will be cleared up in a bit. Let's start off by understanding the relationship between the two columns and all of the forms. Each field in the form on the left corresponds with one of the fields in the form on the right. Now, let's start off with the first field in the form on the left by filling in the necessary details. The type, label, placeholder, and let's set the required option to yes. Moving on to the advanced tab, give the field a unique ID. Now on the form on the right, all you need to do is just repeat what we did before and just make sure to give it a unique ID of its own as well. In order for the mirroring to take place, we need to add this script to the HTML widget over here. And you can find this script in the first comment below. Let's check it out so we can see it in action. Click to preview. As you can see, writing hello in the left field over here is mirrored in the field on the right as well. Let's do the same for the next field. Fill in all the details and give it a unique ID. On the form to the right, fill in all the details as well and make sure to give it a unique ID like before. Let's preview it. This trick works with the help of the script we created especially for this tutorial. It essentially allows us to connect the field's IDs, which in turn allows for the live preview state. You can place it anywhere on your page. You can go ahead and add your own fields, as many as you like. Let's make some minor adjustments in the Advanced tab. Go to Custom CSS and paste this code. This needs to be done in all of the form widgets on the right column and will remove the buttons, the focus state border and align all the text to the middle. Pay attention though, in order to remove all of the buttons, you'll need to give each one a unique ID. Great! We're done with the live preview part. 
This helped us create a virtual Christmas greeting card, allowing us to preview it before sending it on to our family or friends. Moving on to part two, actions after submit. The actions after submit option in the form widget allows us to set an action that will be performed after a user submits the form. We will add two actions. Let's start with the first one. Click on the add action field in the dropdown and choose email. You'll find a new email tab below. It comes with pre-built parameters, but we can change any of those as we wish. We can set the receiver's email, a subject, the message, and more. In the message field, we can add HTML as well. This way, we can customize the message in the email. You can find HTML tags easily via Google search. Now, let's focus on the second trick. The link inside the email message your friend receives needs to be dynamic for it to create personalized content which gets us right to the next action, request parameter. Before we understand how it works, let's see what it does. The form knows how to take all the parameters filled inside it, send an email to our friend, who upon clicking the link in the email, will see the custom Christmas greeting with all the details we filled in on the form. Now, let's see how to set up the result page. In the content tab, under title, click on dynamic, and under site, Choose the request parameter. Now click on the request parameter field in the settings dropdown and make sure that the type is set to get. It should so by default. The get field allows us to receive data from the URL. In our case, the data will arrive from the filled in form connected to the link in the email. Now go ahead and fill in the parameter name. In this case, I've used F name. We also added some fallback text in the advanced dropdown. Let's go over it again. Click on dynamic, and then in the request parameter, define the parameter name. Now, go ahead and apply this to the remaining widgets. Just make sure that the parameter name is written all together without any spaces in between, and use Latin characters. You can also use the dash and underline symbols. Now that we've added names to all of the parameters, we can go back to the email section in the form on the main page. Basically what we need to do now is connect the fields in the form up with the dynamic request parameters we set up on the result page. We also need to transfer the data via the link sent in the email to your friend. Sounds a bit complicated, so let's go over this link and see how it works. First, in the link tag we see the URL of the result page. The question mark separates the domain from the query string, which contains all of the different parameters we defined before. Let's look at it a bit closer. Fname is equal to its corresponding field ID in the result page. In our case, it's equal to ID name1. Let's see another example. Message is equal to its corresponding field ID in the result page. In our case, it's equal to ID message1. As you can see, this way we link the parameters from the result page to the fields from the main page, where each parameter has its corresponding field. This is where the magic happens. The link we send connects the fields of the main page to the dynamic parameters of the result page. Let's go through the whole link and see that we have all the fields. Between each field, we make sure to have the ampersand symbol. It separates them. Now all that's left is to talk about the thank you page. This page informs the sender that the message was sent successfully. We need to go back to the form on the main page and under actions after submit, choose redirect. In the redirect to field, fill in the link of the thank you page. In this case, the name of the sender is also connected, so that the thank you page is personalized as well. That's it. We're done. Let's see the magic in action again. I'll go to the main page. Hmm. To whom shall I send a holiday greeting? I'll send a greeting to my mother. We will fill in all the details and write her a heartfelt blessing. Let's click the Deliver button. We're taken to a personal thank you page that shows that the message was sent successfully. My mother received an email containing a link to the greeting I prepared. She clicks on the link and is taken to the Christmas card prepared especially for her. Cool! You can send as many wishes as you like. Each time the content changes dynamically. Well, that's it! From all of us at Elementor, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.